speech to the chairman of Bank Apolem, Yeh Serusi. A very warm welcome to The Pulse to you. And so then let me start by asking you about, uh, about net income. Uh, which beat forecast due to a one-off tax benefit, but generally speaking, financing from, from current activities reflected some weakness. Do you expect to see a pickup in the coming year? No, let, let, let me just uh, explain. Uh, Bank of Poalim uh, had uh, an excellent result this year, and uh, we are very pleased this morning. We have uh, an increase of 25% in our profits, uh, finishing uh, with uh, $719 uh, dollars million dollars of profit, 12% uh, return on equity. Uh, our competitor came out uh, less than us. We are establishing and repositioning ourselves as the leading bank, the strongest, mm. biggest, and most profitable bank in the country. So uh, today is really a celebration for Bank yeah. of Palim. After three years of hard work, we are back to uh, show the strength of our bank. But Mr. Sarusi, you did see fourth quarter net income decline, yes. even if it wasn't, a, you know, a, yes. a drastic reduction. We were talking about 672 million shekels from 713 in the same quarter compared to a yeah. year earlier. So, I mean, I, you're obviously very optimistic about the year ahead, but you must also be concerns, uh, concerned about obstacles yes. uh, to your growth and, and uh, you know, to your performance yeah. in the next 12 months. Yes. Yeah. Uh I would say th this year we came, as I said, in 2011 was a good year for the Israeli economy and for the bank. When we are looking at the last quarter, there are some accounting issues, some changes that uh, came out uh, from Bank of Israel. Yes. So there is an effect there, which is an accounting effect. In general, we see two parts for this year in Israel. Uh, first half of the last year was very strong, second half slower. Our forecast for next year is 3% growth, which means uh, it will be more difficult to come with the same results next year, although we still uh, hope to achieve something which will be not far from that, meaning double-digit return on equity. That's our uh, target as we established at the time, and we hope to continue this. How will higher capital requirements uh, it, yeah. impact, impact bank lending to the corporate sector in Israel? Yeah. We see uh, now a wave of uh, increase that we will need to do in capital, like uh, elsewhere. Uh, I think that what we see differently from other countries is really that uh, on the small to mid-sized companies, we have no problem, and they have no problem financing themselves. The main pressure is coming out of the largest holding companies and others. They really face problems, and uh, part of or the majority of the problems come from the capital markets, less from the banks. The mm -hmm. banks are reaching the limit on the large companies, but the main problems that we see at the moment are, are coming more from the debt capital markets. We will have to see how this is being resolved with increase in equities of these companies. So how might those low trading volumes, how might the problems that you describe in capital markets impact operating profit in the year ahead? Um, we, we do not uh, anticipate from our bank because of uh, steps that uh, measures that we have taken in the last two years, uh, we don't expect much of an effect on, on the bank or Bank of uh, We look at it more on the macro level. We want to see how this all restructuring helps to continue the growth of the country. And we as bank as well uh, are affected mm. from these uh, effects of growth. But uh, we don't expect much uh, to be on our balance sheet or to be shown. Well, we expect the same provisions to, to be next year as well. And so you voiced some concerns there, Mr. Sarusi. I'm wondering, do you think that there is a problem, a possibly a credit crunch in the corporate bond sector in Israel? Um, there is at the moment uh, uh, a wave in which uh, some of our investors are really on hold. I think that uh, prices start to be attractive again and hopefully will start to shift it. In addition, there were many, many regulations and many committees in recent months, and I think the market is a bit confused. Mm. So, so it's not just the international effect. Uh, when we are talking about, for example, the European effect on our books, Ben Kapoalim uh, really have shifted most of his exposure to the U.S. long ago. And I think that uh, what the effect that we see is really coming out of uh, a little bit decrease in exports to Europe. Uh, uh, but I think that the majority of the pressure, the crunch that you are mm. mentioning, 
is really uh, uh, that people have to really get clarity from regulators and in, in the moment this will be finished, we will see again the pension funds and others coming back to the markets. Okay, so not very exposed to Europe, but perhaps a little concern there on the part of Mr. Sarusi uh, about the companies yes. that have issued debt that need to be restructured. Thank you very much, Mr. Yes, Sarusi, Chairman of Bank of Poland. Good to talk to you. Thank you.